we are talking about practicing mindfulness in our parenting. In particular, how to deal with intense emotions. And welcome back to The Coffee Group, Dr. Chantal Hofze and Shirley Pastoroff. Welcome, guys. Now, last time we had you in, uh, we were talking about the green brain versus the red brain. Today, we are discussing how to deal with our children's emotions. Uh, now, this is obviously a very important topic, isn't it, Chantal? Absolutely. I think often as, as parents we focus on the behaviours a lot because we just want them to behave. Yeah. Um, Particularly when we're out in public. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And they know that. <laughs> they do. Uh, but what we know from psychology is that most behaviours naturally flow from emotions. So if you focus on the emotions of the child um, and, and not so much on the actual behaviour, you can actually sort of shortcut that system and have um, more effect. So we need to be looking at the emotions. And these emotions, surely can be put into three categories? Yeah, there's, so there's um, three ways that we deal with our emotions. The first is we get stuck. Um, and that, for a child, can often look like a full-blown tantrum. So they've got completely stuck in the jungle of some kind of tricky emotion. They can't get out of it. Or grumpy all day. That's mm -hmm. when you're stuck and the emotion is present, you can feel it. And then suppression, and this is a common one we miss. So say your child has fallen over, comes running for attention, and you say, it's fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Off you go, off you go. Or, you know, tricky day at school, and we say, oh, you'll be okay tomorrow, don't cry, don't cry. And what we're saying to them is, you're not feeling what you're feeling. And so then they suppress their emotions. And we are all guilty that it's insane. Yeah, and it's really well-meaning. Mm -hmm. You know, we really, really mean it. But actually what our children are learning is I'm not supposed to feel what I'm feeling, so I don't know what to do with it, so I'll push it down. Mm. Well, we yeah. don't want to blow things out of proportion to them, so, yes. we, so, we, so we make things seem smaller, yes. which is obviously not what we but should be doing. there's a third route, which is processing, and that's the healthy way that we can help our children to deal with their, okay. their emotions. Okay. Chantal, what should we be doing? Well, I think it's a really good point. I mean, a, ch a child has a feeling, just like we can have emotions, and we don't want to make it bigger. We don't want them to get stuck in it, but we, we also don't want them to push it down. So the third option, and the, and the healthiest option, is to allow them to process what they're feeling. And, and for a child to do that, they really need the parent to connect with them, to be okay with them in that moment not being okay, to not right. judge that feeling, to not um, try and quickly fix it or make them feel better, but to just connect to, hey, what's, what's going on? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, that, that must have really hurt. And then very often, it's just a matter of, well, it depends on the child's age, um, how you approach it, but very often when you just connect to where they're at and what they're feeling, the emotion just melts away. Mm. It is okay for a 13-year-old boy to feel grumpy all day because sometimes that is just what they feel, isn't it, Shirley? Absolutely, it is. Well, I mean, this connection and validation thing has changed my family because, as you know, I've got five children and I'm quite emotional, so when one, two, three of them are sad, angry, I just used to not do it well at all. And so now what I do is I offer them that um, connection and I use, I actually script it, so I use phrases like, I can see that and that makes sense. So I would say to my child, I can see that you've had a really hard day at school, that makes sense, friendships can be tough. Or right down the other end, which would be, I can see that you're really cross with me because I've made a decision you don't like, that makes sense. And although that's really hard to do, I've found that it calms so many situations, both in me and in them, before we then have to problem solve. And that's exactly how we put it into practice, isn't yeah. it? Just yeah, by doing those little scripted things. That is really great advice, and I will take that on board. <laughs> definitely when I go home tonight, I'm sure a lot of people will as well. Yeah. Uh, great advice, Chantal and Shirley. Run mindful parenting classes in Auckland. You can find out more at, on their website.